Now next method is derivative of functions in parametric form. How to find derivative of functions if functions are given in parametric form? Now what means a parametric form? If a function is defined as x a function of t, y is a function of t. x and y both are functions of some third variable. x is a variable, y is a variable. x and y are coordinates of any point on curve. See, whenever we draw a graph of function y equal to fx, that means x coordinate and y coordinate. Any point has x and y coordinates. If x is a function of t, third variable t, and y also is a function of t. x and y both are two different functions of t. Then this function is said to be in parametric form. So this is the parametric form where when x and y both are expressed as a function of some third variable t or here it is theta. x is a function of theta, y is a function of theta. So x is f of t, y is g of, sorry, x is a function of theta, y is another function of theta. So x and y in terms of theta. So such functions are said to be functions in parametric form. So see, if x is a function of t like this and y is another function of t, that is g of t, then dy by dx derivative of y with respect to x is it will be ratio of dy by dt dy by dt upon dx by dt so dy by dt can be obtained from this function and dx by dt from this function so where what is dy by dt dy by dt is gst and dx by dt derivative of x with respect to t that is derivative of ft with respect to t that is f dash of t so after finding dy by dt and dx by dt its ratio is dy by dx so this will be the procedure to find derivative of functions in parametric form. Now look here. Say here. X is 2a t square. So I am finding dx by dt. So dx by dt differentiating this with respect to t. So derivative of this function with respect to t. So that is, it is equal to 2a is constant, derivative of t square with respect to t is 2 into t and y is a into t is 2 4. So dy by dt, that is derivative of this function with respect to t. So that is e into derivative of t is to 4 with respect to t is 4 into t cube. So this is dx by d. This is dy by d. So from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 
dy by dx dy by dx is dy by dt upon dx by dt dy by dt upon dx by dt dy by dt is 4a into p cube dx by dt is 4a into b so this is p square so dy by dx is equal to p square so when x and y both are functions of t then dy by dx will be a function of t similarly here so here x is cos theta minus cos two theta x is a function of theta so differentiating with respect to theta dx by d theta it is equal to d by d theta of cos theta minus cos two theta so it is equal to derivative of cos theta with respect to theta derivative of cos theta with respect to theta is minus sin theta then minus derivative of cos 2 theta with respect to theta derivative of cos 2 theta with respect to theta supposing this number as theta derivative of cos theta with respect to theta is minus sin theta and because this is not theta we multiply its derivative with respect to theta so that is minus sin theta plus minus minus plus derivative of 2 theta is 2 so 2 into sin 2 theta so we get this result one and y is sin theta minus sin 2 theta that is so dy by d theta so differentiating with respect to theta so d by d theta of sin theta minus sin 2 theta derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta minus derivative of sin 2 theta now suppose this is theta so derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos 2 theta but because this is not theta we multiply its derivative with respect to theta so this is cos theta minus 2 times cos 2 theta so it is value 2 so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 dy by dx is dy by dx is dy by d theta upon dx by d theta dy by d theta upon dx by d theta that is cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta upon this value is 2 sin 2 theta 2 sin 2 theta positive number I am taking first minus sin theta so divide, divide by dx is cos theta minus 2 cos 2 2 times cos 2 theta upon 2 sin 2 theta minus sin theta. So we perform this procedure. And say whenever you differentiate parametric functions, keep one thing in mind. We have list of formulas. Say d by dx of x square is 2x. d by dx of x square is 2x. Now here, if I take d by d theta of theta square, so only variables change. 
So derivative of theta square with respect to theta is 2 theta. Derivative of t with respect to t square is 2 t. So here these are not three different formulas. This is same. Only symbols are different. Similarly, derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. Now, if I change symbol, so derivative of sin theta with respect to theta, it will be cos theta. Only symbol is changed. Derivative of sin t with respect to p is cos t. So, this is same. Same statement using three different symbols. See, derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. Same result can be spoken as derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. Derivative of sin t with respect to t is cos t. If you keep here y, y is okay here y. So, like this. So, here we are doing the derivative with respect to theta. So, derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. If derivative of sin 2 theta with respect to theta, or suppose here it is 3 theta. So, here first matching is of sin. Derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. So, derivative of sin, suppose this is theta. So, derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. First matching. But because this is not theta, we multiply its derivative with respect to theta. So, we are performing the same procedure of differentiation, uh, differentiating difference function which we applied in the previous exercise. Only symbols are different. Here we did differentiation with respect to theta. Here we have done derivative with respect to p. So symbols are changed. Symbols are different. Procedure, formula, same. Same formula in different symbol. So whatever we have list of 15, 20 formulas, Every formula like this can be written by changing symbol. Derivative of 10x with respect to x is a sex y x. Derivative of 10x with respect to x is sex y x. Now if you give me a y, so you to give me a y, y. Derivative of 10y with respect to y is sex square y. If I speak here theta, so derivative of tan theta with respect to theta is sex square theta. So same formula with a different symbol. Now see here, x is sin q t upon square root of cos 2t. And y is cos q t upon square root of cos 2t. So here, x is equal to sin cube t upon root cos 2t differentiating with respect to p derivative of x with respect to t because this is function of d so it is equal to d by dt of sin cube t upon square root of cos 2t it is equal to now see this is a function of t so apply the rule for u by v so derivative of u by v it is v square v square v as it is as it is derivative of u with respect to t minus 
u as it is derivative of a with respect to a here we are going everything with respect to a it is equal to say so here root cos 2d now derivative of sin q d with respect to t so suppose this is t q derivative of t q with respect to t is 3 times t square supposing this as t derivative of t q with respect to t, with respect to t is 3 t square but because it is not t multiply its derivative with respect to t minus sin q d into now derivative of square root of t with respect to t derivative of square root of t with respect to t is 1 upon 2 root t but this is not t so multiply its derivative with respect to t divide by this will be cos 2t square of square root that is cos 2t see we have formula d by dx derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x so here we use derivative of root t with respect to t is 1 upon 2 root t so variable is different symbol is different formula is same. So when we differentiate with respect to t, then see t, whenever you differentiate it, theta, then look that variable as theta. We have list of formula in terms of x. We, we have used symbol x in list of formula. So wherever x is written, you replace any symbol. If you keep t, then put here t everywhere t. So that is application. So it is equal to root cos 2t into 3 sin square t into derivative of sin t with respect to t is cos t minus sin q t into 1 upon 2 root cos 2t into now derivative of cos 2t derivative of cos 2t is minus sin 2t into derivative of 2t derivative of supposing this number is t derivative of cos t with respect to t is minus sin t but because this is not t we multiply its derivative with respect to t that is e to 2 upon cos into 2. Now say here this 2, 2 will be cancelled. Now taking LCM, this will be LCM. It will be multiplied with cos 2t. So cos 2t into root cos 2t, that is cos 2t, raised to 3 by t. Here root cos 2t will be multiplied here. So it is cos 2t into 3 I am keeping here 3 into cos 2 d into sin square t into cos t minus into minus plus sin q d into sin 2 d so they take we say this is 1. We keep till this step. Now, we are getting y. y is cos q t upon square root of cos 2 t. So, differentiating this with respect to y, dy by dt, that is equal to d by dt of d by dt of 
cos cube p upon root cos 2 d. Now u by d, derivative of u by d with respect to p. So it is v square v square v as it is v as it is derivative of u but here we are doing with respect to v minus u as it is into derivative of root cos 2v that is root cos 2v whole square keep as it is root cos 2v into now derivative of cos u k with respect to v derivative of cos cube t suppose this is t so derivative of t cube with respect to p is 3 t square but because this is not t we multiply its derivative with respect to p into cos t minus cos cube t into now derivative of root t suppose this is t so derivative of root t with respect to p is 1 upon 2 root t. But because it is not t, we multiply its derivative with respect to t. So here 3 into root cos 2t into cos square t into derivative of cos t is minus sin t. See it is with respect to t minus cos cube t into 1 upon 2 root cos 2 t into derivative of cos 2 t with respect to p supposing this has p derivative of cos p with respect to p is minus sin p but because it is not t we multiply its derivative so multiply divide by this will be cos 2 p. So that is equal to now uh, here this 2 will be cancelled. Root cos 2 p is LCM. This will be multiplied in denominator. So it will be cos 2 t raised to p by 2. Now this is multiplied here 3 into cos 2 t into cos square t into minus sin t so minus uh, see look this is negative so I, here I keep minus sign so minus 3 cos 2t cos square t into sin t then here minus minus plus so cos cube t into sin 2t so we say this is result 2. Now we take ratio of 1 and 2. So from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, now I require space. So uh, removing this. Now dy by dx is dy by dt upon dx by dt. Here dy by dt was here dy by dt upon dx by dt this was here denominator in both were same so denominator here and so denominator of both numbers were same so they are cancelled so simplifying this here cos square t is common cos square t common minus 3 cos 2t into sin t plus cos t into sin 2t so cos square t taken from upon denominator sin square t is common so sin square t is common 
So 3 times cos 2b into cos b plus here sine squared b common so sine b into sine 2b. Then cos square b into minus 3 into now see here cos 2b here it also cos 2b. In numerator I am putting cos 2b 2 cos square b minus 1. Formula cos 2b is 2 cos square b minus 1 e to sin b plus cos b into sin 2b. Here sin 2b I take 2 sin b into cos b. Upon sin square d into 3 into now here I am putting formula for cos 2d. Cos 2d is 1 minus 2 sin square d. Cos 2d has two forms. Cos 2d is 2 cos square d minus 1, or cos 2d can be also written as 1 minus 2 sin square d into cos d plus sin d into 2 sin d into cos d. So see again. Sin d is common. Here sin d is common. Here cos d will be common. So that is cos square d into sin d common into bracket minus 6 cos square d plus 3 plus 2 cos square d upon sin square t into cos t is common so putting here cos t into bracket 3 minus 6 sin square t plus 2 sin square t so that is cos square t into sin t into bracket 3 minus 4 cos square d upon sin square d into so here a sin t can be cancelled and here one cos t will be cancelled so what will be left here cos t here cos t will be left and here sin t will be left into bracket here 3 into 2 6 Sorry, 3 minus 4 sin square t. Now see, here this cos t I am multiplying this bracket. So 3 cos t minus 4 cos q t upon this will be 3 sin t minus 4 sin q t. So here we are getting a result, a formula. Taking here minus common, this will be 4 cos cube t minus 3 cos t. And denominator I keep as it is 3 sin t minus 4 sin q t. So doing this because now this is nothing but cos 3t. So that is equal to cos 3d upon denominator is what? That is 3 sin d. So it is minus cot 3d. So divide by dt. Divide by dx is equal to minus cot 3d. This is divided by dx. Now see in this uh, method what we are doing. We are differentiating function of t with respect to d or function of theta with respect to theta. So in the list of formula, we have derivative of x cube that is 3x square. Now if I change the formula, then if I take here t cube, derivative of t cube with respect to d, so it is 3t square. 
So this is same, only symbol is different. Derivative of theta with respect to theta q that is three theta square. So these three statements are not different statements. They are same. Only symbols are different. Similarly, derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. What is rule? If your x is given, then its derivative with respect to x is cos x. If your y is given, then derivative of sin y with respect to y is cos y. If your theta is given, then derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. If your t is given, then derivative of sin t with respect to t is cos t. So say symbols are different. x, x, so here x. y, y, so here y. Theta, theta, so here theta. t, t, so here t. So, this is a formula. This is second formula. So, we have list of formula. In list of formula, all formulas we have written in terms of x. You can put list of formulas in terms of t also. You can take in terms of theta also. So, every formula can be written by changing symbols. Symbols are different. Statements are the same. Suppose derivative of 10x with respect to x is sex y x. So in the list of formula, we have this formula. Derivative of 10x with respect to x is sex y x. Now this formula, if I change symbol, so derivative of 10y with respect to y is sex to y. So the same. I have not written anything new. Only symbol is different. X, X, here Y, Y, so here Y. If I give here theta, derivative of theta, so that is sex 12 theta. So this is same. These are not three different statements. Only symbols are different. The rule is same. Now same. Here, suppose I want derivative of sine theta with respect to x. Changing topic. Derivative of sine theta with respect to x. Theta is variable, x is variable. Now look, if you want to differentiate with respect to x, here there must be x. But this is not x. So for a few seconds, suppose this is x. So supposing this as x, its derivative is derivative of sin x is cos x. This is x. But because it is not x, multiply its derivative with respect to x. So derivative of theta with respect to x. Change the rule. Derivative of, so whenever you differentiate with respect to x, see here x. Suppose this is x. So derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. But because this is not x, multiply its derivative with respect to x. Suppose, now same statement I am putting in different way. Suppose here sin x is given and we want to differentiate with theta. Now say derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. Derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. This is formula. So derivative now we want to differentiate with respect to theta. So here that must be theta to apply this rule. So look this is theta. Suppose this is theta. So derivative of sine theta with respect to theta is, supposing this as theta, derivative of sine theta is cos theta. But because this is not theta, multiply its derivative, 
multiply its derivative with respect to theta. Look the difference. Here we are applying chain rule. This is basic formula. P, so that should be D. Theta, theta, y, y, x, x. In short, this is formula derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. When you differentiate with respect to x, there must be here x. Differentiate with respect to theta, there must be theta. But whenever you differentiate with respect to theta, and here if it is not theta, for few seconds, suppose this is theta. Supposing theta, derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. But because it is not theta, multiply its derivative with respect to this variable. So, this is application of G. And one more thing. Second order derivative. Second order derivative. Second order derivative. What is the second order derivative? If y is equal to fx, then dy by dx is after fx. First order derivative. Now differentiating once again with respect to x, differentiating this one with respect to x once again, second differentiation. So differentiating once again d by dx of dy by dx differentiating with respect to x it is equal to now derivative of f dx x is f double dx x and this is denoted as d square y by dx square so what is d square y by dx square d square y by dx square is d by dx of dy by dx. So what is second order derivative? So here x is a function of t, y is also a function of t, and we want dy by dx and d square y by dx square. So first of all, we take x equal to a to cos t plus log of n t by t. This is a function of t. So differentiating with respect to t, d by d of a into cos t plus log of and t by t. So differentiating this with respect to a, a is constant in as it is into derivative of cos t with respect to t. So derivative of cos t with respect to t is minus sin t plus. Now derivative of log with respect to t. So suppose this is t. So derivative of log t with respect to t is 1 upon t. But this is not t. So multiply its derivative with respect to t. Supposing this as t, derivative of log t is 1 upon t. But it is not t. So multiply its derivative with respect to t. That is equal to a into minus sin t plus 1 upon Hello
a into a into minus sin b plus one upon tan t by two into now derivative of tan with respect to t. So derivative suppose this is t. So derivative of tan t with respect to t is sec square t. Derivative of tan t with respect to t is sec square t. So first matching is tan. So tan t is derivative of sec square t. But this is not t. So multiply its derivative with respect to t. So into d by dt of t by 2. So that is e into now look here. Here we are getting terms in t by 2. This is sin t. Just make it as it is. Now converting this into sin cos. This will be 1 upon sin t by 2 upon cos t by 2 into this will be 1 upon cos square t by 2 into its derivative is 1 by 2. Here a cos t by 2 will be cancelled. So what is left? 2 sin t by 2 into cos t by 2. 2 sin t by 2 into cos t by 2. 1 upon 2 sin t by 2 into cos t by 2. So it is a into minus sin t plus this will be 1 upon sin t. So it is e into minus sin square t plus 1 upon sin t. So it is e into cos square t upon sin t. So this is dx by t. Now now we take y is equal to a sin t. So divide by dt. Divide by dt is a into cos t. Derivative of dy by dt is d by dt of a sin t. Differentiating with respect to t. So divide by dt is a into derivative of cos sin t is cos t. So this is 2. So from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, dy by dx is dy by dt upon this is dx by dt. dx by dt. This is dx by dt. So putting values here, it is equal to dy by dt is a cos t upon this will be a cos square t upon sin t. So here a, a will be cancelled or cos t will be cancelled. So sin t is left. So dy by dx is sin t by cos t. So divide by dx is tan t. This is divide by dx. Now in this question, we find a second derivative. Now, continuing from this step, d square y by dx square, it is what? It is d by dx of dy by dx. Derivative of dy by dx with respect to x is d square y by dx y. Now, d by dx of dy by dx is how much? tan t. So, here tan t. This is 3. So, this is from 3. Now, look here. We want to differentiate with respect to x. And derivative of tan x is x y x. Here it is not x. 
because we want to differentiate with respect to x, here there should be x to apply formula. But because it is not x for a few seconds, suppose that this is x. So supposing this is x, derivative of tan x with respect to x is 6 plus x. But it is not x, so multiply its derivative with respect to x. Supposing this is x, derivative of tan x is x square x, but it is not x, so multiply its derivative with respect to this variable. So it is dt by dx. Now dt by dx, this can be expressed as 1 upon dx by dt. Because already we are having this value, dx by dt, it is d a cos square t by sin square t. So we use value from 1. So this is sex square t into 1 upon. Now dx by dt is a cos square t on sin dt. So that is, it is 1 upon a sec is 2 4 t into sin t. So this is d square y by dx y. 1 upon a sec is 2 4 t into sin t. So here x is t into cos theta plus theta into sin theta and y is a into sin theta minus theta into cos theta d want to divide by dx so first of all differentiating this with respect to theta dx by d theta is d by d theta of a into cos theta plus theta into sin theta. So differentiating the right hand side with respect to theta. So dx by d theta is derivative of this function with respect to theta. Now differentiating this, see a is constant, keep as it is. Into the right, derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta plus now we are differentiating with respect to theta so we use u into v so u as it is derivative of sin theta is cos theta plus sin theta as it is and derivative of theta is 1 so this is derivative of this function with respect to theta. So it is now so this will be cancelled. So it is e into theta into cos theta. So this is dx by d theta. Dx by d theta. Now we take y. Y is e into sin theta minus theta into cos theta. Similarly, differentiating with respect to theta, d by d theta of e into sin theta minus theta into cos theta. So differentiating this with respect to theta, it is equal to, now e is constant, in multiplication, keep as it is, into now derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta minus now we have u into v so u into v so in bracket u as it is derivative of cos theta so u as it is derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta plus cos theta as it is and derivative of theta is 1 close the main bracket so here cos theta and minus cos theta that will be cancelled so this will be a into 
minus minus plus theta into sine theta. So this is two divided by theta. So from one and two, therefore from one and two dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta putting values dy by d theta is e into theta into sin theta dx by d theta is e into theta into cos theta this will be cancelled so dy by dx is tan theta derivative of y with respect to x now Continuing the differentiation, the, the, the second derivative. So now, d square y by dx y, that is the derivative of y with respect to x, two times, second derivative. That is d by dx of dy by dx. This is first order derivative. Differentiating once again, it is second order derivative. d square y by dx y. So that is d by dx of now dy by dx is tan theta. So this is if we say t, so it is from t. Now what do you do? x differentiating with respect to x. Derivative of tan x. This is theta and we need with respect to x. So suppose this is x. So derivative of tan x with respect to x is sec square x, but because it is not x, multiply its derivative with respect to x. So this is sec square theta into 1 upon dx by theta. Then this is reciprocal of dx by theta. So we can use this value. This is dx by theta. This will be used there. So sec square theta into 1 upon e theta cos theta that is set q theta upon e into theta so this is d square y by dx square now see here x is square root of e is to sine inverse t and y is square root of a is to cos inverse t. Now, observing these functions, x and y both are in terms of t, and observing pattern of both functions, if we multiply these two, then we will have sin inverse t plus cos inverse t, and that will be by the way, that can be used to convert this into the simplest form. So multiplying these values x into y is equal to square root of a is to sin inverse t into a is to cos inverse t. Therefore, xy is equal to square root of a is to sin inverse t plus cos inverse t. Now this is pi by 2. So x into y is square root of a raised to pi by 2. But this is constant. Now differentiating with respect to x. d by dx of x into y is equal to its derivative with respect to x is 0. Now here x as it is derivative of y is dy by dx plus y as it is and derivative of x is 1 it is equal to 0 so dy by dx therefore dy by dx is minus y by x so from this equation this result is derived dy by dx is minus y by x now, here we are not asked the second derivative, but 
But if we continue this to find a second derivative, then look what happens. So here, d square y by dx square, that is d by dx of dy by dx, that is d by dx of minus y by x. Now this minus sign I am keeping outside. So this d by dx of y by dx. Now apply u by d. u by d. So v square. V as it is. Derivative of y is dy by dx. Minus y as it is. Derivative of x is 1. So u by d, d square, d as it is derivative of u, minus u as it is derivative of d. Now, we forward here value of dy by dx, so it is already here. So minus x into minus y by dx, so minus y by dx, x into minus y by x minus y upon x square. So now it is what? It is equal to minus here x x will be cancelled. So it is minus y minus y. So this will be minus 2y upon x square. So this is 2y by x square. So it is d square y by dx square. This is value of d square y by dx square. So in such question, second derivative can be found by this way. 